Good morning, everybody. Hey, the first thing I want to do is say uh, I appreciate everybody that was at the members or public e-learning last night. I'll get that uh, rendered and out there um, if you missed it. So thank you very much for being there. I absolutely appreciate it. Remember, we do that every Tuesday night, and it's either going to be myself, Doug, or uh, John that's presenting there. So, well, I've got the... Um, IWM up, so let's just start with that right here. And as I look at IWM, I just can't help not to be uh, bullish on it. Um, let's see, wait a second. There we go. I yeah, just can't help not to be bullish on it. The 50-period um, moving average is trending up. Here's the trend indicator. It's green. Here is um, a top over here, and you can see that we have broken out. We're testing it. Um, I think I think IWM is looking pretty good. You know, we're going to have to get through this, what is this, uh, December high before we can really make some, uh, some big movements on it. But so far, I think it's doing a pretty darn good job. Now, if it does start to fall apart, then I'd, you know, be cautious with those longs. I think everybody's a little bit jumpy right now. Uh, NVIDIA earnings are going to be coming, and that's, a lot of people are jumpy with that. Um. And that could make a big market swing one way or the other. So, But right now, a little on the bullish side. Let's take a look at the diamonds. Um, diamonds, I'm a little concerned here. We've got a bit of a, a top. We haven't broke the trend yet, although we're pretty darn close to it. Um, it wouldn't take much to roll the diamonds over and come back down to test that 50-period moving average. I don't think it would take much at all uh, with that. So... Uh, let's keep an eye on this. For the bullish, I've already talked to somebody this morning already about uh, bullishness, and let me just mention that right now. Um, if the market starts to be bullish, we will see a bullish candle. It's that simple. It's like black and white. It's like cats and dogs. They are different. And when we see the buyer step in, that's when we start looking at it. And just the opposite, you know, um, for shorting, what I'm going to look for, and the cues will point it out very good here, what I'm going to look for is weakness under those dots. And I want to see that dot turn red. Let's just go to the cues, and you can see what I mean right there. So right here, we're starting that turn, and you know we always want to be careful right through here. Um, let it confirm. Now, in a perfect world, what I would really like is to move up a little bit and then get short and that would give us our low high i'm sorry high low lower high lower low lower high and now we can just we can just get on top of that short setup hey hey doug how are you i see doug's here um that i hope for today i'm i'm going to continue to rest no problem you take it easy buddy you take care all right hey, take care so it looks like Doug's not going to be here uh, today, you guys. You guys see it. So anyway, um, the cues are pointing out pretty good the the uh, possible short here, the weakness, and I, I I use moving averages big time. So me, the first thing I'm going to look at is a target down here uh, at the 50 period moving average, and then monitor price because it's all going to come down to price. Um, on the SPY, boom, what I would really like on the SPY is that little bit of a pop-up. I would like to add to my put, and then let's come down and make some more money. Ultimately, we're going to have to get down through this low right here, February 13th low. Get below that, and then we're going to uh, come down to the 50-period moving average. So, let's say the bulls step in and take us up. And it, it could happen, you know, and it could happen. So bulls come in, and maybe today we do something like this. What we need, candles, candles are, they work with each other. So this is, this is the candle we have right now. Now, we haven't even made today's. So what we need is to beat yesterday's candle. Now, it can be done in two candles. Take it two days. It could be done. And when that happens, that will negate that candle, and then that will start the bulls moving up. From there, we're going to look at little little spots, resistance spots, things like that. But what we need is that confirmation, not that, you know, not that 
oh, here, we're here, let's buy this, okay? And, and it doesn't matter where it's the market or the chart. You want to make sure that, that, uh, that uh, positive trading comes in for the long side. Now, for the short side, uh, we already have some spike puts here. And if we start falling down, I'll look for this low, that 13th low to be checked. And then we'll evaluate at that level there. Take a look at FNGU, FN, FNGU. That's not doing so great. Other than, I mean, it, it's not doing so great. All right, let's think about that. The chart is clearly in a bullish move up, right? I mean, how can you, how can you not say it's not bullish? It is bullish. But for trading, we've got this little bit of a mess up here, and we're doing a little pullback. So now what we're going to wait on, bulls, you're going to wait on price action to pick up. We're going to wait for the buyers to buy it up. Where is that going to be? I can no more tell you that than man in the moon. I can throw a dart on the chart. You could throw a dart on the chart. But what we're going to do is wait for price, price to tell us. So let price set us up. Let the chart pattern develop, and then we can look for that trade. Or for a lot of people, like me, for instance, I use it more as a guide to the market. But right now, I'm afraid it's looking more downside based on the candles that we're looking at here. So what else do we have here? Let's look at some charts. Um, I posted out there this morning already on the app. GLW is looking pretty good. Um, when I posted it, it was pushing right there real high. I think this is a terrific setup right now. Bullish in golf. Uh, inside day. Trend indicators working. Uh, just everything is looking good about GLW. Early buys. Sure. Right now. Me, I, I kind of like the, the idea of a 32.40. One way, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, one way that you might handle it, way I might handle it, is buy a small piece of it here. And then when it breaks out, add to it. That might be a way to handle that as well. But either way, GLW looks really, really good for now. Um, what else do we have? Uh, what, what I wrote that down. Uh, Toll Brothers. Toll Brothers is still looking good. Look at that. Just, you know, for those that were there last night, uh, we, we talked about this. The trend. The trend is working. The momentum is there. And now what we're looking for is that entry. I didn't really talk about entries last night. But you can see the T-line over the trend indicator. Momentum is working. So uh, this is where, just put the buy box on there. And this just tells me that, hey, uh, that would be a good area to buy or add to, or, you know, depends where you are in it. But right here, the chart looks absolutely terrific. So a buy or a buy on a breakout looks good uh, for Toll Brothers. Um, Coke. I noticed Coke. Look at that. Uh, nice consolidation here. Great move yesterday. We're seeing follow through today. You know, I want to take this to a weekly chart. Look at that weekly. I didn't even look at that earlier. So on the weekly chart, you can see that trend working up. And by the way, I, I didn't talk about this last night either. Um, the whole trend indicator T-line momentum trend. Great on the weekly. It, it works in any time frame. So here you've got that weekly just working out terrific yes there's resistance over here uh, <clears throat> excuse me you got the trend working out so <clears throat> now for entry there's where i want to go to the daily and then watch for that entry some folks are going to wait till it breaks out some folks are already in it maybe um so some folks are looking at it right now so we'll keep we'll keep coke on the watch list um oh csx CSX, man, that had a little bit of a, a derailment this morning, but it looks like they've got it back on the rails. Uh, this could be a good thing. Um, the, the derailment here, it just showed that the buyers just snapped it up. So that could be a very positive thing here. I really want this to close up. I don't want it to come back down here. So let's watch that one real close. Um, Wells Fargo... Look at Wells Fargo. So we've got the big move up. We're now one, two, three days into a sideways move. Uh, pop out of the box type uh, setup. So let's just go ahead and put that in there. Do that. Um, the low, the lowest low in these three candles. I don't want it to get below that low. If I was in it, I wouldn't want it. If it wants to pull back, that's all fine. That'll move closer to the T-line and I'll be perfectly happy with that. But right now, 
Wells Fargo is looking terrific for a buy uh, inside or on a breakout here. So that's really all the charts I have. Does anyone have any charts you want to take a peek at? Um, I'm a little early today, uh, so we can we can do that. Uh, CNXA uh, on the scanner. Uh, is popping up a little cheapy. I need to fix that. I just I made a new scan this morning. I need to adjust it uh, to eliminate these here. But there, there's a nice round of bottom breakout. Hey, Rickster. Yeah, C C is looking good. Uh, C is looking really good. We still have uh, the trend. The momentum is still working. 50 period moving average is still trending. We've got this bull kicker uh, pop the upside. Um, doji bullish and golf inside day here still looking for that to move up i think it looks fantastic uh still like c um uh gc i, I don't think uh yeah i don't have that roger sorry um a l k um alaska airlines is bullish a a l k um, is bullish. Nice trend to the upside. I question buying it right here. I, I question entering it right here. Um, it might be a little bit high. A little bit high for me. It doesn't mean that it's too high for somebody. It's certainly bullish. It certainly looks good. And it certainly looks like we're going to move higher on it. Um, I would just rather more of a pullback. But definitely on the bullish side. In fact, I'll flag that one there. Thanks. SKY. What is that? W? Um, another bullish, you know, let's just, let's just check this by the numbers. You know, it's really simple. Um, for those that, that <clears throat> don't know what we have here, see that green, see how bullish that is. And you see where we rallied up. Um, I'm going to change that. There we go. See how we rallied up here. And then all of a sudden we start moving back. What, what we have to realize is when we get too far away from moving averages, that is exactly what price does. Price does not like being too far away from moving averages. And uh, what happens is while this just stays sort of blah through here, the 17 or Trendicator rallies up, uh, the T-line rallies up. When we get close, that's where something starts to happen. And you can see that happening here. Uh, beautiful chart. More upside. Look at the volume pop yesterday. Look at the volume pop on this big day here. So I think that's looking really good. Earnings in April. So we're good to go there. Oh, yeah. Gold futures. I, I don't have futures here, uh, Roger. Um, EW. Look at EW. That's another one. Rally up. This is... the. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> A great strategy for um, stocks that that um, that run up really big or gap up is to put them on the watch list. This might be I don't know Ed if you're here and I, I don't know you may have your topics all set up, but this might be a good topic today for live trading alerts, where you know you you find these stocks that gap up, and then within a period of time, so. So let's say today you look back and say maybe in the past 20 days, you get stocks that pop up really hard, really big, kind of out of the reach. Then what happens is you let the scanner do the work. And then when it pulls back and sets up, it alerts you for something in there. Anyway, that, that, that's, that would be a great strategy. You just have to, you know, be able to capture those. Uh, or look for those and then wait for that consolidation in there. So right now I'm bullish on this, certainly buyable here, or maybe, you know, maybe a buy when it starts to break out over 87.50 right in there. Um, let's see over here. Um, hey Val, how are you? Any, hey, I'm running out of time here, so I need to uh, kind of hurry up. Um, any M for a put? Um, you know, um, it's trending down. Um, you got to have more reason than just for a put. I, I, I got to tell you that. And, you know, we're sitting down here. Look at the possible uh, buying area down here. So, um, and, and, when, and remember this too. You're looking at NEM here. When you see a chart that makes a, 
uh, a down move, up move, and sideways move. That's actually half of a bullish move. That is that is not a bearish move there. So uh, I look at this and, you, you know, possible inverted head and shoulders. So to be bearish, a put, you're going to have to see some selling going on. So I would, I'm, I'm going to watch that today. I'm going to make a note of that one. N-E-M. Okay. Let's keep an eye on that. You know, the time to look at a put on this is right here. Watch the trendicator. When we start to turn red, that's where you want to start looking. Uh, maybe not after humpteen days to the downside. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that, all right? Let's see, low, uh, low, nice, nice. Low's coming back. So here's, here's our trend. The trend got clobbered yesterday. Price came down, but price came right back above. One of the skins that I love, and I, I've really focused on it a lot, I've been working with it a lot and tweaking here and there, is where... Um, say the 50 period moving average is in a bullish move uh, so trending up and then price dips below both or price is just just below okay just simply below the trendicator and the t-line and then i want to be alerted when the trendicator and t-line are taken out bullishly like that and this would qualify so what we're doing is we're getting that pullback and then right back into momentum in here so I like that. Nice, nice chart there. Um, CLX long. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Whoa. Whoops. CLX to the long side. Only if you get a long signal. I mean, as far as the overall chart goes, yes, absolutely. Um, I would like to see a buy signal, though. Otherwise, you know, we could still trickle down, 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 down. We want to wait for the buyers here. Right? That's what we want to wait for. That's, I want to wait for you to buy it. Okay, so, uh, so Carmen, so I'll tell you what, Carmen, what you do is, and I'm serious about this too, not necessarily you, but I want to see buyers. I want to see buyers in it. And now let's rock and roll. Um, I don't want to be the cat that lassoes the bottom. I, I just don't think that's healthy for anybody's financial future in trading. And nobody has ever come back to me and said, see, Rick, you're wrong. I do this all the time. Nope, nobody will ever come back and do that or say that because it doesn't happen. So let the bulls pop in there and then let's go have it. All right, one more and then I got to go. WBA for a short. Yeah, it's looking a little short. It's also going to get beat up because it's getting taken out of the, um, is it the Dow? I guess it's Amazon is coming in. So yeah, uh, it's going to get a little beat up on that. So probably a little bit short. Watch these lows down here, maybe for a target for a retest. All right, everybody, I got to go. Sorry, um, I've, I've got work I have to do between now and the open. Um, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, RWO. Thanks, Hit Run Candlesticks. We'll see you guys all at the bottom of the hour, okay? Take care. Thank you.